This is Graham from .easy and today we're coming to you with another video. Today we're going to be going through with what exactly a domain is, how this can work for you, and how you can protect your company with this. We get asked quite often what exactly a domain is. Now a domain can be best thought of as just example.com. This is something you would normally register for your site, for your business, and this is used for doing really anything on it. Now this is generally referred to as either a primary domain, which is the more common name, but sometimes you may hear this referred to as a top level domain as well. Now a primary domain is the name that you're going to be picking to represent your company. So it's going to be yours for whatever term you decide to sign up with, and nobody else can touch it for that term, which is very, very handy. Now you have the freedom to point this to whatever site you want, and this will be used to represent you. So whenever you have any questions, whenever you're gonna be using any email and everything, it's gonna be all pointing to this actual primary domain. So it is important to make sure to pick one that's short, to the point, stands out, easy to remember, and if you can get a .com, you do wanna try and get that because that's what people will generally associate with a company. For any kind of a name, they will try .com first. Now, once you've got a primary domain, it is important to get a bunch of other domains as well. Now, this may seem like a big step at first, but in essence, it does help get more traffic to your site. It does make sure that if someone does try an extension other than .com, they are gonna come to your site. It's also to protect it from other people who do prey on companies who try and register domains with other extensions to steal away their business. So this is something you definitely don't want. You want all that traffic yourself and so that everybody is coming to your site directly. Now, you may also do this because you wanna set up different sites so that you have the .com, this is what people go to. You may have a .biz to show us the business aspects of the site. You may have the .org for something within the company only, within the organization. So these are all important factors when choosing a domain as well as additional domains if you want to set them up. Now one of the benefits to one of our main plans, which we currently have under promotion, our unlimited hosting plan, is that it allows you to set up what are called add-on domains as well as what are called park domains. Now we're going to be going through and explaining the difference between these two and how they can best work for you to provide for your company. The first one we're going to be covering is called a park domain. Now what a park domain does is this is a name you register by itself. So you don't need any hosting whatsoever. You just sign it up under a hosting plan if you want. Otherwise you can just set it up under your unlimited hosting plan and have it there. You can even set it up on a domain only plan. All of these will work. Now what a park domain does is it forwards the entire site so if anyone comes to that domain it'll forward it straight to your main one. For the example we used earlier of example.com you can think of this as example.org being the park domain you've registered pointing across to example.com so that if someone comes to the .org site they'll go to the .com site automatically without even knowing most of the time and you can easily have it so that all your domains point to a single site. This is very easy to manage smaller businesses or smaller sites or even just personal ones for fun that you want to have a lot of different people come to. It's very easy, very easy to manage and it does make it so that you only have to update one site and then everything shows that site accordingly. Now the advantage of the other option, which is an add-on domain, is that everything is set up with its own individual site under the primary domain on the same server. You only need to pay for one hosting account, like we mentioned our unlimited hosting account, and then just register each domain by itself that you want to add on, and they can now use that unlimited hosting plan as well without any additional hosting costs. This allows you to set up all the files, all the sites, all the content, on the other hosting plan, the main primary domain that you can manage everything from and have them all set up to have their own sites. This is very, very important, nice and cost effective if you wanna have lots of different sites set up under the different names that you're registering for the business. Now, some domains come under different extensions as we've mentioned a couple earlier. For instance, you have like .com, .net, .org, which are considered to be general ones that most people will think of. You have some specialized ones like .us, .ca that are country specific ones. And you also have some more specific ones on top of that. Now, the general ones are typically the best ones to go for as they are ones that people think of. .easy, we offer these at $15 for any kind of domains of the general version, which is easy for one year, it's very cheap, so you can easily set up a whole bunch of them together to help protect your domain. If you have any questions about any of this, if you need any more information, don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have about the domains, how to set up add-on domains or park domains, as we can easily get that done for you. 
you can also leave any comments here to this video and we'll help you out. This is again one of the questions we've been receiving in comments, which is why we're making this video for you. You can also follow us on Twitter and you can also like us on Facebook as well. Thank you.